Okay, today we're tying a orange partridge. We begin by wrapping our thread around the shank of the hook. We're gonna wrap all the way down to the bend. We can spin that thread. This is a UTC 140 and I'll separate those fibers so it creates a, a smoother body. A few of the fibers hanging around here. We're going to bring that up to about the eye of the hook, maybe an eighth of the shank away from the eye of the hook. First thing I like to do is, before I put that hackle on there, is I'm going to put a little bit of squirrel dubbing, and it creates a little ball, and it'll help dam up the feathers so that they protrude around that ball and it'll give it a little more body to it. Okay, so I'm almost at the eye of the hook. I've got a little dubbing ball there. Simple thread body to it. Now we're gonna prep a Hungarian partridge feather. This is selected from the neck hackle. Kind of that gray and black classic look. The curvature of that feather is facing away from me. I'm going to strip off very carefully both sides of the fluff, getting down just the stem. And with that curvature facing away, I'm going to hold the tips with my, tip of it with my right hand and very carefully strip off the left side. Bear that whole stem. What that'll allow you to do is when you make these wraps, it won't, those, those fibers will be on top of the stem, making it a much cleaner look. And then you can hold the tip and just kind of fan down the right side. Believe it or not, this is all we need, no more than a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna trim the tip off, create a little bit of a notch. One fiber there that's gonna disagree with me, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Tie down that notch to the shank, and you can notice how those fibers now, when I pull that feather around, they're all laying back over the body, and that's what we wanted to create. I use my index finger of my left hand to kind of push it around, and then I'll just reposition it over the top, my right hand, and then push it back around with my index finger of my left hand. And you're gonna get one and a half to two wraps of this, and that's all you need. It's just a little halo. And I'm holding, you can tell, my index finger and my thumb are holding all those fibers into correct position so that when I secure this stem to the shank of the hook, all those fibers are gonna lay back. Trim off your excess. Couple wraps just to clean it up. And then just a simple whip finish. Soft tackles do a great job imitating caddis pupa. They breathe really well on the water. So all you have to do is just fish it either dead drift or the tr traditional swing, and they will work. Orange partridge.